So since I can remember, I've always loved like documentaries and vlogs and just watching the behind the scenes. I served in media for years at, um, in Dallas and then my church in Colorado. And I've just always loved that side, like cinematography and videography. And so recently the Lord, recently as in the past like year, the Lord has just been speaking to me about vlogging. I've been like revisiting journals from like a decade ago where I would write about how I wanted to start a vlog and I have some really good friends who are doing it and I love it I watch it every week and just inspired by them and the Lord's just been showing me that it's possible you know I always felt a little unqualified or I would just make an excuse and think like well when I get this or when I have that then I will and the Lord has really challenged me and he said it's time to do it now and you have all that you need and so it's been really fun to go on the journey so here are some clips of just my time um, in Missouri the first few days and the process to get here and even my process and how to learn and start and all that he's done it's been really fun I hope you enjoy and I hope you're encouraged to just do things that you think are too hard for you and Watch yourself flourish and watch the Lord's grace come in and meet you. Oh, goodness can't be stopped. Your love is better than I ever thought. into tomorrow We will see the goodness of our God It's gonna be better than better than better than I could dream It's gonna be better than better than better than I could dream It's gonna be better than better than better than Not only is this just fun for me and it will bring me such life and delight, but I also feel just like a call from the Lord to be intentional with what he's done in my life and sharing stories like they did in the Old Testament. It's often they would say and tell this to your children and their children and write it on the doors and the walls and just put the stories everywhere of his faithfulness, basically. So I feel that. Um, that I need to be doing that with my own life and what he's done because he's done so much. If you've heard that song, Miracles on Miracles by Elevation Worship, that's literally my life, just so much, so many testimonies of what he's done. And Luke 12, 48, um, the last part of it, it says, everyone to whom much was given of him much will be required. And from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. So I feel that the Lord's just been so generous to me. He's given me so much and I feel this call to just share it, you know, as I freely received, freely give. And um, I just want to be faithful to that because I'm going to stand before him at the end and I want him to say, well done, good and faithful servant. So here is a little glimpse of my life.
vloggers will film in their car and I really love it. I'll put a video of my car. Her name is Bathsheba. She's really special to me. We've been through a lot together and I have a lot of time with the Lord here in my car. So it's pretty sacred to me. I wanted to share why I'm in Missouri. I'm still uncovering and discovering why with the Lord on my own, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory because it does seem a little bit random, but it's not because the Lord doesn't do anything random, but especially with me, it's been actually a really sweet journey that goes way back even like four years ago. But essentially in March um, of this year, the Lord woke me up in the middle of the night and he asked me a question. And the question was, what if you went to Guatemala again this summer? And I went four years ago for the whole summer and me going to Guatemala was like pivotal in me moving to Dallas where I lived before I um, moved here to Missouri and so I knew when he asked me that question what if you went to Guatemala again I knew I wasn't just saying yes to a summer thing I knew I was saying yes to transition in the fall and so it's been really beautiful just watching him work and it be so easy as you just follow his voice. Fast forward a little bit, I went to Guatemala for a month this summer, but then when I came back, um, I had made plans with a friend um, that I actually know from Colorado. and We kind of grew up together and have been emailing a coffee shop that I'm working at now. Um, I've been in contact with them since May because I actually was here in Kansas City in May and the Lord just started speaking to me about this city. And so it's just been beautiful watching just one little whisper from the Lord unfold into this whole story as I just one day at a time just say yes and I'm obedient to the thing that he says. And so I know for right now I'm here to serve the family I'm living with and I'll be working at the coffee shop and I'm really close to um, IHOP, the International House of Prayer. So I'll be there and that will be my community. But I know that I'm also here to rest and even vlogging has been a new thing to me that I get to learn and I have all the time and space to do that. Psalm 18 verse 19, it says he rescued me because he delighted in me and he brought me into a wide space. So I feel like that's even what he's done. He's just given me this wide open space that I get to just go on the journey with the Lord and discover all the gifts that he has along the way. So my final encouragement to you is one, you know his voice. It says in John 10 that his sheep know his voice. And two, follow his voice even when it doesn't make sense. It's going to be the best journey of your life. I was sitting at a coffee shop recently and the woman next to me said, God will take you all around the world if you let him. So I say let him. major disclaimer I don't know what I'm doing and I'm learning along the way and I felt that it was really important to not just make everything perfect um, at the beginning but kind of show you my progress along the way so you're supposed to film horizontally I did not know that but that is pro tip 101 if you ever want to start vlogging but I kind of love that it's not that way at the beginning someone told me they gave me some advice for starting to vlog and they said be yourself and this is me not really knowing what I'm doing but trying anyway and having a lot of fun on the journey but don't worry the next one will be horizontal what is it a banana what is it how do you say it What you do?